Now at 5.30, a closer look into the company that was hauling the workers killed and hurt in that Marion County bus crash. They were on their way to a farm in Denellen when a pickup truck veered across the center line on State Road 40 and crashed into their bus. Right now, Western News investigative reporter Greg Fox is looking into the company and safety surrounding the migrant worker program. The 50 plus workers on this bus were on their way to pick watermelons when a collision with a pickup truck ended eight lives and injured nearly four dozen others. By phone, I talked with the president of the company that was transporting the Mexican migrant workers, Alvera Trucking Corporation of South Florida. Jose Alvera told me, never has anything like this ever happened. It's devastating. I don't remember anything like this ever happening before. The driver has been with us for a while and is experienced. Can you state your name, please? Brian Howard. While the state builds its case against the pickup driver, Brian Howard, investigators with the Florida Highway Patrol will be looking into the safety history of Alvera Trucking Corporation. A check of the Department of Business and Professional Regulation reveals no current state complaints or open cases against Alvera. A check of the U.S. government's H-2A data hub, which tracks foreign employees in the work visa program, shows Alvera had 109 approved farm workers. It's one of the 307 companies in Florida that employ more than 37,000 foreign workers, mostly in agriculture working on farms. WESH 2 Investigates has previously brought you stories explaining the intensive regulations surrounding these workers. Safety is improving. Transport vehicles will be required in June under federal law to have seat belts. While it's unclear if this bus had belts and if so, if they were being used, farm worker advocates say use and enforcement of belts must improve. The head of the coalition of Amokali workers tells us while accidents will happen, protecting workers while transporting them with mandatory and enforceable safety provisions like seat belts and safety inspections can reduce injuries and deaths when accidents do occur.